Greetings students, welcome to another fantastic math video. Today we're subtracting integers. So in a previous video I talked about what integers are. Basically they're numbers that are either above or below zero. And I'm going to deal specifically with whole numbers because that's what an integer is, a whole number above or below zero. When it comes to subtracting integers, it's basically like adding integers. You just have to do one simple thing before you do any adding. So subtract means to take away from. So basically take a look at a number like 6 minus negative 3. That minus negative 3 is basically telling you take away the negative. And if you take away a negative, that means it becomes a positive. So 6 minus negative 3 becomes a 6 plus 3. So in essence, when you're subtracting integers, always add whatever the opposite of the integer is. Hey Mark. So look at this example, 6 minus 3. We know that 6 minus 3 is 3. You're taking a positive 3 and turning it into a negative 3, so the problem becomes 6 plus negative 3. You're adding the opposite. And 6 plus negative 3, if you have $6 and you owe somebody $3, you end up with having only $3 left or a positive 3. Another example like negative 6 minus 3. If you add the opposite, that's like saying negative 6 plus a negative 3, which is owing somebody $6 and owing somebody else $3. So you owe a total of $9, so the answer is negative 9. What I usually like to do, I just like to look at the number and circle, like when I do the problems on paper, I'll look at the number and circle the number with the sign to the left of it. So like negative 6 minus 3. I would just circle the negative 6 and then I would circle the minus 3 and I just look at those two as just saying negative 6 and negative 3. So I owe somebody 6, I owe somebody else 3, I end up owing a total of 9, negative 9 being the answer. That adding the opposite trick works, that really works when you have something like 6 minus negative 3 because you have that negative sign and the minus sign. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, tell other people about this so they can learn lots about integers and other things math. Uh, for my students, I'll have some problems for you. Uh, check out these other videos here on the side. Have a great day and always remember to keep on mathing.